And we know the U.S. is on high alert tonight, bracing for a possible Iranian attack in the Middle East. White House and Israeli officials actively preparing for a, quote, significant attack on Israel by Iranian forces, possibly within days. News Nation correspondent Alina Shirazi live in D.C. tonight. Alina, I know you've spoken with your source in the White House. What is the latest that you're tracking tonight? Natasha, good to be with you again. Well, the Biden administration tells us they're considering how to respond after they learned Iran may be planning to hit targets inside of Israel. Tensions in the Middle East are rising after Israeli airstrikes in Syria earlier this week killed several Iranian officials. Funerals now held in Tehran for the officers as Iran's Revolutionary Guard vows payback. It will certainly uh, be against a high-ranking Israeli official and really could be anywhere worldwide, but likely probably in Israel itself. Now the White House is on high alert after reports that Iran may plan to hit targets inside Israel as payback. In response, a senior White House official telling News Nation today, quote, the president and the prime minister spoke about these threats. The United States fully supports the defense of Israel against threats from Iran. Iran really won't find it necessary to hide behind one of their usual proxies, uh, such as Hamas or Hezbollah or the Houthis. Uh, but Iran could directly strike Israel, should they so desire. Iran calling Israel's strike in Syria an attack on Iran itself. Iran's leaders warning the White House not to get involved in the fight between Israel and Iran, saying, quote, the Islamic Republic of Iran warns U.S. leadership not to get dragged in Netanyahu's trap for us. Stay away so you won't get hurt. And the Iranian president's chief of staff also went on to say that the United States asked Iran not to target their facilities and strikes. We reached out to our sources at the White House and a senior official tells me, quote, it's an Iranian spin. We received a message from Iran following the strike in Damascus. In response, we made clear that we were not behind the strike. We also warned Iran not to use the strike as a pretext to further escalate in the region or attack U.S. facilities or personnel. Natasha. Okay, Alina Shirazi with that report. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.